Talent Squad, welcome back to another VGC 2018 Battle Spot Rank Battle Spot Ranked Live. Today we got more of the rain team again, my friends. And this time we're gonna do it justice and show this team is not Charizard Y food and Kamo O food. We're gonna put in that work, hopefully. See what we got going on. We got our man Ada from Mako over here. Good old Mako. Script to get you on Zard Y, Venusaur, Cresselia, and the Stack Attacker. Whoo, what a team and a half that's gonna be right now. How do we get through that? If Trick Room is a thing right there, we gotta stop it ASAP. And if not, Zard Y is gonna come and munch down on us. So you know what? We're gonna go Mega Manetric and Sapu Bulu as our lead. We're gonna back it up with Pelipper for talent support. And then I think Naganadzel. Uh, nope, we'll go Kingdra. We'll go Kingdra as well, my friends. Just have that water stab, get around some things, put in that work. Manetric Blue is the best possible lead for us. So that's what we're going to do. And of course, guys, EVs, IVs, items, all that good stuff, always in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Any information you may need can always be found below in the description. For now, we're going to see our man Adolf leads over here. I'm assuming it's going to be Cress and Scrafty. Stack Attack of Scrafty or Zard Y and. Gashodon. This is honestly going to be a tough matchup again, but we're going to do our best to get through it and put in that work, my friends, as we do some bulk recording for this weekend while I am gone in South Car uh, North Carolina. <clears throat> so here we go. Game one underway right now, my friends. If you're excited, show some love to like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate that. And here we go. Game numero uno, uno, uno. What we got over here, man? What do you got? It up. I got the Bulu Manetric on Zek. Dust Ball Bulu as well. I caught that Bay Boy in Sun. I, I don't know why I was so proud of catching him with Dust Ball, but I was. Charizard Crest. All right, Mega Evolve. T Bolt Zard. Um, probably protect on the Bulu because we can't bring in Pelper here because the rain will still get this fizzled out by the sun. So, Mega Evolve. T Bolt Zard Y. We're faster than them too, which is actually really good. And when that happens, I might just go for a sub. Cause you're scared of me, yeah. T Bolt's not gonna kill though, that's the thing. If it's bulky Zard is not gonna die to a T Bolt. However, I'm still gonna go T Bolt here. And play it safe. Turn one, do not get zesty. Play it safe! Go for the protect and watch. If I would've heard sub here, it would been great. Just watch. Just watch. Care for that. We're gonna just go protect Trick Room, so. I don't know, man. I have no idea what's going to happen. Just play it safe right now. Get that intimidated off. It ain't going to matter much at all. But what matters is the stat boosts. Zard Y in the building. Maggie Valvin as well. Sunlight is up, shining, and beautiful. There she blows. Zard Y in the building. Sun is uh, brightly shining. Protect or you catch a T-Bolt. Could have gone sub. God dang it. It's all right. We're probably going to see a uh, Trick Room here. T-Ball fails, and... Icy wins. Alright, well. Going to get uh, Manetric the heck out of here. Speed jump's going to be a pain in the butt. Save the Intimidate. Give it a little HP right back, though, courtesy of that Grace of Terrain. Alright, Manetric is out of here. We'll bring in Pelipper. And we'll bring in King Drudge. Do the double. Just do the double, my friends. We're going to see a Heat Wave and Icy Wind again. Zard Y is out of here. Very nice and done. We're going to get one turn of action. Yep. <clears throat> Good play my opponent's part. Uh, how do I hit that thing? I probably don't. So I got to bring Bulu back in at some point. So <clears throat> We're going to switch Pelipper back out for the Bulu. And Kingdra is going to just go for a Muddy Water. Might as well hit somebody. But I don't want to give you free special attack boost and Gash Loss. You know what? I don't know what to do here. Alright, Ice Wing goes off, pops my Sash, and lowers the speed on Kingdra. I could just Hurricane. That crit's gonna be bleh, doesn't really matter too much. I could, yeah, I could Hurricane the Gastrodon, but... Uh, just bring in Bulu again. And... I want to Ice Cream Gash on as well, but I don't want to take too much damage on Kingdra. Oh, man. 
It's not worth the double switch either. Get damage on Gastron. I have to try to put him in the uh, range of Draco Meteor. Z move. So here comes Bulu again. There's that. Ice him goes off. Maybe get a freeze. Who knows? Let's see here. I did nothing. Psychic on Kingdra. So you double team Kingdra is what you're telling me. Yeah, nice chunks right there. So that is dropping. Kingdra's going to get the hell out of here for sure. Uh, we're going to see Zard Y come in, which means we're going to go for a substitute here. And... I don't even know what. Sub up. Should I just go with Muddy Water? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to switch out the Gashadon here. Bring in the Zard. Uh, yeah, I'll go for Muddy Water. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get aggressive. See if it pays off. Woo! Here comes the Zard. I think it's going to pay off. Yes, it does. Granted, the rain's going to go away. My damage is going to be reduced. But I just want some act drops. Make Ice Wind even less accurate. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. And get a chunk on Zard as well. Yeah, there we go. All right. We'll take that. Psychic. And there goes the Kingdra. That's fine. We'll bring in the Pelipper now. Sub is up. Bring in Pelipper. I'm pretty sure our Brian will kill uh, Zard. So is this going to be that bulky? Actually, just bring in Manetric here, too. Eh. I'd rather Tailwind. I'd rather scare Zard. If I go for Bra, and then, 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 then Gashadon might come in, so... This is where things get zesty. This is where things get zesty. And we're going to go for that bulk up. And we're going to go for that, uh... Tailwinds. Because giving a free brine on a, on the Zard is not what we want. We're going to see the Gashadon come right back in. Barshi Blues. Tailwind going up. It's so weird there, Pelipper is the fastest thing on the fields. Neg one speed, that's fine by me. Alright, now we're gonna attack at plus one, plus one on that Gasher done. Or I might just go for the Cresselia. Double team Cresselia, go for a Brian Hornish Cresselia. Hmm. Let's do that. Well, Chris might turn into the Zara though. And I can't brine because that board is... Never mind, I, can't, I can't do that. Um, Hornich Gashadon. Bring in Manetric. That covers the switching and... Uh, yeah. Covers the Zara switching and Gashadon staying in. So we're fine here. I should bring in an unknown. We haven't seen anything else just yet. We haven't seen the last one just yet. Alright. There's Manetric. Let's see if we get this Gashadon on out of here. Nope. We're going to get a Hornage on the Zara. That's fine. Then we're going to see Ice Wind probably go off again. There's that on this Weather War, man. This Weather War. Hornleech at plus one. No terrain, though, which sucks. Not bad damage, though. Really not that bad at all. It's a crit. That is why a little bit of RNG in our favor. All right, we'll take that. Psychic on the boom. All right, now the Zard. Um, I don't think that crit matters, so I just blocked the crit first, which is good. I see. I don't wonder if I see uh, Hidden Power Ice would kill Zard at this range. Hmm. I'm going to bulk up again and then just T-Ball. Because you need a Force to Protect here or bring in Gashadon. So I'm going to T-Ball the Zard. And if, if, you, if that happens, I'm going to get a free bulk up. So that's fine. Gashadon is here. All right. This man's recycling. T-Ball's not going to work. Bulk up goes off. I'm going to get Hornleash the hell out of that. Cresselia as well. Plus two, plus two is pretty good for Bulu right now. Icewing going to slow us down. Zard's nice and low. Blue neg one speed, metric neg one speed, that's fine. I see wind on a trigger team is kind of peculiar right now, to be honest, but hey, man. It's kind of working out for you. Horn Leech, Gashadon, and... 
Might just hard switch. Yeah, I'm gonna harsh the Pelipper. Let's just do that. I feel like this man is switching Gashadon. I, I think we're gonna catch him eventually, standing with the Gashadon. And again, if he gets Zar with a plus two uh, Horn Leech, he might even get me close to dying, so. Yep, goodbye to the Gashadon. Beautiful. However, you do get a free Zard Y in now. But water moves are back online. Bulu at full health, living large at plus two, plus two. Uh, we're going to see an Icy Wing go off once again, slowing us down. Back to normal speed with Tail and Up. Without Tail and Up, we're going to be at Neg 2. And then we're going to see Zar come in here. Mm. Better play with some particular Penetric there. That's what I should have done. Try to catch Zar coming in. It's all right. There's the Zard now. If Tailwind's still up, I'm not in bad shape here, to be honest. It's not. Okay. Tailwind is gone. I'm going to protect with Bulu. And I'm going to brine the Charizard. Because he's below half, but you kill him. With the sun being up. Let's see what happens here. Heat wave in the sun should not kill the Pelipper. But it might actually. I don't know. That's fine though. We get a free metric switch, which is, which is exactly what we want. So we'll live with that. We shall live with that, my friends. Bring him a metric. Team with that Zard. No immunity for you. And you have your unknown Pokemon still in the back. Alright, Tiffany is going to fail again. And by fail, I mean not be useful at all. Cress is just chilling. Alright. Yeah. Oh, did you have Scrafty? No, no, you didn't have... Yeah, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Alright, Horn Leech, Cresselia. And T-Bolt, the Zard. He's gonna go Ice Rim Protect, but just in case he doesn't, I need to attack Zard in case he doesn't. Yeah. Alright. I could have gotten a Horn Leech Protect, but... Then if I do that... I need, to, I need to prepare the Bulu this turn. So we're fine right now. Protect, uh, but my gonna die to the freaking t uh, heat wave. God dang it. Yeah, I think we lose. Mm. I think we definitely lose. Let's just neg one speed. Sunlight's still up fresh. Yeah, we lose. There's no way Magic lives a heat wave. But you gotta try to live a heat wave and see both these are. Alright, let's see if I get another heat wave or maybe dodge it. Dodge it! Alright. Pepper didn't live Magic, not living. Yeah. God damn it, dude! I threw that game. Absolutely through that game. All right, let's just try to dodge up a heat wave of Bulu, and maybe they will win. But you know, what I, mean? You, you, I mean, if you don't have flamethrower, great. If you do, you just lose. That sucks so bad losing this game, dude. All right, missed the heat wave. But it's not enough at plus two. All right, dodge it again, Bulu. Dodge it again, Bulu. Dodge it again, Bulu. Oh, I should have pretended here, actually. Because he's the last one. He, he, I didn't even see this. I didn't even see that. All right, dodge it again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell it to activate. It's Venusaur of all things, god dang it. Alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? He has Sludge Bomb, man, we just lose. Damn it! If it wasn't the Venusaur, dude, if it wasn't the Venusaur, we've been smooth sailing, dude. Ugh. 
That's funny, though. That is pretty damn funny. We had some life there. All right, let's go to game two. Man, oh, man. Buzzle's just been useless. Yeah, I'd say right there. GG. Time for a week. Yeah. Who is stack attacking would have won that game, probably. That's what sucks. Or even the Scrafty as well. Man, dude. So we were at plus two, plus two. Ah, man. We got fortunate, but that's going to be the game right there, guys. Game two time. Should have. I should have predicted the Manetric that one turn. That's why, that's why I lost it. That's why I lost it. When I predicted the Manetric that was it. Manetric, that was it. I lost the game right there. When I didn't predict the Manetric. So, no favorite mistake. Move on to game two, and that will be that. I think we need a Tailwind Nagana. There's been too many scenarios where I needed a Tailwind on Nagana Dell. Uh, it would have helped a big time. Would have put in the work first, but now we just freaking horrible, horrible win loss ratio now, and it just feels really bad to be honest. All right, we got man, our man Egardo from New York as well. Let's see here. The hell is this? All right, let's do this guy with the ass, man. We're gonna go with a lead of no, because you have a pad on slower. All right, um, uh, what do I do here? What do I do here? Let's go Bulu, uh, Bulu, Aganadel, Pelipper, Kingdra. Why not? Game two, here we go. Very interesting team to say the least right here, but, uh, see what he's got, man. He's got the Komo'o outfit on. Orange shades, not bad. I dig it. But let's see what his squad's gonna be. And hopefully this video I have does not go live because YouTube is broken today, and I don't want YouTube making my video go live. That shouldn't be going live. Let's check that real quick. Roller leads come out. Mickey and a pound on, and about ready to go. And YouTube is still broken. All right, cool. Bulu and Naganadel for me. Guess we're gonna Nagana Del for the Pelipper, obviously, and Horn Leech the Bulu. Actually, no, I'm gonna Horn Leech the uh, Mimikyu because I don't feel like dealing with his neck. So, Horn Leech Mimikyu, and by neck, I mean his uh, freaking, what do you call it? His, what do you call it, ability? The yeah, Disguise. So, we'll do that. Bring in the lovely Pelipper. Get that rain up. Take care, take care of this weather. And then, Hippet, I was probably scared of Bulu, so I might protect him. I switch out. Maybe he goes Warwind. I don't know what the hell he does, but. At the very least, we're gonna bring in our Pelper here. Get rid of the Sands. This man is a very interesting team, dude. Very interesting team. Uh 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 uh. Shadow Claw. All right. Not gonna do much. Horn Leech snapping that neck. And then from here, what does the uh, Hippowd on do? EQ, his own Mimikyu, and do nothing to Bulu because the terrain is up. Alrighty, that makes our life a little bit easier. Left, oh, I was gonna say left is a Mimikyu? No, it's not left is. Alright, let's do that. Um, I'm just gonna spam bulk up with Bulu, and I am going to hurricane the Mimikyu. Let's see what that gets us. Hurricane goes off. Mimikyu is down and out. Plus one, plus one for Bulu, and then maybe a rock slide from the about on? A little scary there, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Our boy Crustle comes in, we're gonna hold it. I don't think you guys play charge on this team. This is like a... Um, uh, battle that you want to show, but we're still gonna play it out because why not? Actually, I'll probably just Hurricane Crustle as well. And hit with the Brian. Let's see what Brian does, to be honest. Just do that. Holy shit, kill the pad on. Brian goes up on Crustle. Indeed, kills him. Goodbye, Mr. Crustle. Shiny Crustle as well. This is like all Pokemon you find in the flipping thing. Shiny. In the, uh, what do you call it? In the, uh, uh, space. Uh, we're gonna get game two and we're gonna move to game three like right now Game three we got our man Nadim over here with the land of Metagross Porygon 2, Amoongus, Zardwai, and a Tapu Goko 
Which means for me, we're gonna lead with Mega Manetric and... I wish this... I mean, Nagana's on these tails. I'm gonna put the, the tail on Nagana's on for the next battle. We're gonna do that. Manetric, Nagana tail. Uh... Pelipper in the back, and... I'm gonna bring Buzzle for once, man. Poor guy, too, is gonna be hard to take out with these guys. So, you know what? Bring the Buzzle. Making his debut right now. My friends, here we go. Game three on the way right now. YouTube is still broken, man. 500 internal server error. Being ran by monkeys. Awesome. It's always the error you want to see me trying to upload. Oh, well. What can you do? Close it out, and we'll try again after this video. So, I think worst case scenario lead-wise, our opponent goes... Best case scenario, we see, like, Coco and Zard. Worst case, we see, like... Uh, Lando and Coco. Or Lando and Metagross. Actually, no. I don't know. Lando is definitely bad because you have two ground weak Pokemon. But if Lando was that scarf, Hidden Power Ice plus a Sludge Bomb shall kill it. Or any attack I go for. Oh, I have ugly music on. Shoot. I forgot to change music to something good. My bad, guys. So you're going to get busy for this game. Three? It's all right, though. I don't think you guys really care too much about the music. As long as there's sounds. I think we're all happy campers. So, game three, here we go. Pokemon trainer Nadim, what do you got, dude? Naganatel, Manetric, Zard, Lando. Mm. Oh, I can't believe it's so much. Especially if it's Tailwind, the Y, Zard. I 100% have to go Mega Evolve here, Hidden Power Ice, the Lando. I have to. I think I gotta double team him. And then flamethrower him as well. Just gotta double team the Landorus. That's what I gotta do here, I think. If you go Heat Wave, feels bad. So you, you might be scared. You might protect the Zard because you have Manetric. But if you're Scarf, then you just go EQ and simple, easy, clean. So. Scarf EQ might not kill me because you're gonna be at Neg 1. So there's like, there's life. There is life this turn 1. I think I made my best fight possible. Hope he's not Scarf. Go hit a power ice. If it's protect Tailwind, so be it. Then I definitely lose, but. Alright, this is hard. Why am I give up two or no? Yes, 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 so far. Yes, yes, yes! Beautiful. So how does he SP Nagana tell, but not Manetric? Ooh, Neg wanted to be saving our friggin' life. Wow. So you outsped Nagana tell, but not Manetric, so you were scarfed. But you were adamant scarf. Alright, speed boost for Nagana tell. We're in decent shape now, my friends. Even though we're gonna die to life farm, you know what? It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I gotta bring a buzzwall now, cause. Do I bring in Pelipper until the rain can come up? So we're bringing our boy Buzzwell right now. Ah, oh, man. So he was Scarf. That's Porygon, too. All right. Cool. Spitzak boost. T-Bolt, Zard, Y. And... Phytinium Z, Porygon. I'm just gonna go for it. Don't even care. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go right for it, my friends. I feel like I have to because Zard's going to switch out. Yep, there it is. Coco comes in. The free T-Bolt that... I'm fine with that. You know what? Terrain boosted T-Bolt and Coco. I'll take that any day of the week right now. And if I Oko Porygon, even better. He has Protect! A Porygon too. Alright, we'll uh, probably kill him with the superpower now. So much damage right there. Let's go. Alright. Big damage to poor guy here. By big, I mean like a third. He might die a superpower now. He really might die a superpower now, so. Do that. Oh, probably goes off. There's that a Z move. Yep, literally a little more. They did like 40, they're like 35% there. Oh, we gotta go to this Coco, though. 
So we're gonna... Wait, do I outspeed Coco? I think I do with Manisha. Who's 130? Yeah, we outspeed Coco. Hold the phone. Yeah. T-Bow Coco. And superpower the Porygon Sue. Yeah, we SP Coco. We're fine. Because Minetrix is 135. I think. Am I wrong about that? And Coco with the Protecto over here, probably. Yep. All right. Cool. That's going to drop. It's still not mega hard. My gosh, so much damage. Look at the sound. Hold on, sorry guys, sorry guys. Sound issues. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh kinda wanna just T-bolt Zard. T-bolt Zard. And poison jab Coco. Yeah, we'll do that. There's the Zard Y, baby! Alright, let's see what he does here. I think he protects the Eagleams, to be honest. But let's find out. Let's find out if we lose game three or not. Nope, beautiful. Alright, goodbye, Zard. And there's the Tyrim Z on the buzz wall, maybe? I guess you want me to protect on Manetric. Oh, oh, he's just going for a kill on buzz, which is fine. I'll bring in Pepper before you and then outspeed Coco and then be good to go. Actually, no, I'm not good to go because then I got to, uh... I think Sash is going to win us the game. Yeah, then Sash is going to win us the game. So we're going to bring in Pelipper, obviously, get the rain up. And I think he goes Protect on the Coco Trick Room. So many things happen. This is a, honestly a crazy finish in this game. I don't know what's going to happen here. It's attack boost. Obviously, I want to t ball Coco because I outspeed him, but he knows that's going to Protect. I protect Manetric. And then Pelipper is going to go for the Brine on the Coco. So I can't go Tail because he can go Trick Room. I don't want to do that. I want to see what Coco does. I want to see what the Coco does. Okay, I could have gone Porygon here. Ooh, everybody playing it safe. And I think it's going to assure my victory right here. Beautiful. All right. Uh, T-Bolts. Sapu Coco. And Hurricane Porygon Sue. He needs doubles. He needs doubles now. He needs doubles now. And that's a double protect at all from you. Sash is still in sag too. This is actually really good for us. There goes the Coco. So much damage to that terrain. Beautiful. Alright, we got game three, guys. Beautiful. Little risky there. Little risky frisky. But we do get the game three. And that will wrap this up most likely. Oh, we confused Porygon Sue. And to add into the injury, no, Trickum goes up. That's exactly what I want to tell with you. I knew he had it. All right, good. This game's an over. He could honestly win this. He could honestly win this. So he goes for cover here as I go T Bolt and Hurricane because Brian is going to be above half. So I think I got to recover here. There's the recovery. Yep. Actually, I should have gone Brian, because I think T-Bolt's going to bring you below half. Yeah, I should have gone Brian. It's alright, though. Not the end of the world. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She comes up, so never mind. It didn't matter at all. I didn't do the right play. Aha! 
All right. Sea bolts and brine. He's gone for it, man. He's, he's still in this game. Yeah, he's still in this game, guys. But I'm pretty sure we win no matter what. I don't think we can do anything else crazily here. That does about the same with the because of the water stab. I mean the water being up. Yeah, there we go. It's a crit. I don't think it matter. I don't know about exact. Either way, thank you for watching. As always, Sound Squad. I'm the Tell. You're the Glorious Sound Squad. That was a good last game, guys. Have a great day. Much love to you guys. And I'll see you next time.